Hey everybody, this is Charlie from Neat Ohio. We've got another great sale coming up this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday only, so only two days. Um, we're here in Euclid and I'm gonna give you a quick tour. Here we go. We'll be entering through the side door on this one and we'll just do the basement first. Sort of the least exciting. Is that an original Van Gogh? Haha, uh -huh, just kidding. Here we go. We've got some vintage appliances. Sort of knickknacks. And then we've got these a lot of antiques on this job. This is all about antiques. Uh, we're so excited. Um, because this job is, for the most part, all antiques. Um, look at these beautiful chairs here. And they're on wheels. We just got a few little knick-knack things back here. There is not too much back here in the utility space. This stuff here is not for sale. Um, that cart's going to the new owner. We've got some fans. And those are all sort of empty boxes packing things. Got a little rocking chair. Let's go back up. Close the door. It's cold out today. All right, so you might go right into the kitchen or you might go left into the living room. So we'll go in the kitchen. We've got utensils, a lot of mid-century uh, items here. Look at that cool coffee pot. We've got pots and pans. There's some tools there that will go out to the garage, and I'll show you the garage. The garage is the only thing that's not set up um, just yet. Um, so lots of dishes, bowls, we've got Pyrex, we've got coffee, vintage Tupperware, some vintage cups, a full mid-century coffee set, a lot of clear glassware, a lot. We come in here, and here we start seeing the real treasures. Look at this. Bird's eye maple folding table. It is gorgeous. We've got a number of tables here. We have this mid century china cabinet here. All sorts of antique glassware. Look at these beauties in here. Yes, you know what that is right there. Um, got a nice china set there. Um, another set of these antique chairs. Um, yep. And then look at all of these. We have true blue antique lamps dating back to the turn of the century. Um, we've got an original oil painting here by Carl Roth. We've got a beautiful cherry table under here that can go to just round. I put the leaves in and put the protector on there. And then look at this beautiful piece right here. Looks like it's got a little bird's eye maple. Maybe it's walnut. No, it's a little light for that. Maybe cherry and bird's eye maple. And then look at this beautiful lamp right here, folks. It is gorgeous and one of a kind. You'll see lots of antique lamps as we go around here. We've got a number of clocks. We've got some Seth Thomas clocks, Seth Thomas mantle clocks. We've got uh, a fair amount of vintage jewelry, vintage Barbary dolls. This is where you will check out here. Um, just give you a little glance at one of the Seth Thomas mantle clocks. Sorry about the finger there. And then let's go upstairs. We have two bedrooms that are cordoned off. Um, there are some things in there for the new owners of the house. So on the middle floor we just have this one room here with a bunch more antique lamps. Got a beautiful rocker. Here we've got a little chest, we've got some carpets, look at these beautiful lamps, right here the uh, 
Shades are not in perfect condition, but we have some more shades upstairs for some additional lamps. And look at this piece right here. There's a number of lithographs as well. Look at this beauty. Got stuff here on the shelf. And then up to the attic. I want you to be careful, this handrail here is a little loose. And these chair uh, stairs are a little steep here. Look at these beautiful side tables. Look at the rose inlay in the middle of that. Gorgeous. Another one here. Got some art. Got a little folding farm table for a child. We got a mid-century hanging lamp. We've got cedar chest here. It still has a few blankets to pull out here. And then we've got some um, uh, wall hanging or uh, sconce um, lights here. That's a ceiling light. That's a ceiling light. Some baskets. There's a bunch of quilts, vintage blankets. Uh, this day bed is not for sale. And look at this beautiful wall clock right here. Sorry, you got my reflection in there. And then we have this beautiful cuckoo clock right here. We've got some pretty nice vintage Christmas stuff right here. It's a little train set. Uh, then we have some lamps and we have some shades over here. We've got a nice little drink cart right here. There's another cuckoo clock right there. I don't know why that radio controlled toy is here, but it is. And I brought one seat up here, so if you have to sit down. There's another big, big cedar chest actually underneath that. Got some carpets, really cool lithographs. Um, a really cool rocker right here. It's like a stationary rocker. And then we've got this right here. Now this is mid-century right here. Technically an antique mid-century lamp right here another antique table and then look at this beautiful chest right here I definitely want to help you carry that down <laughs> it's gonna be heavy uh, okay folks um, I am gonna dart out to the garage but like I said the garage is the only thing that's not set up yet but you'll get an idea of what's going on out there It's icy. We'll put down some salt if it continues here to Friday. So, yes, unfortunately this chest that you just saw there is being taken by the new owners, but we have not set anything up out here, so I don't know how many treasures we're going to find out here. Um, there's a bunch of folding tables out here, uh, which we'd be happy to sell. Some of this lawn equipment is not for sale um so there'll be a ton of hand tools um there's an old sort of broken down bench here but there'll be um there'll be gardening tools folding chairs looks like there's some dutch ovens in here um and and then over here we'll find nothing new with batteries and things like that this is definitely an old school workshop but you know you've been to our sales i'll have this all spread out for you so anyway we look forward to seeing you in euclid on friday everybody